Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. So today I'm going to tell you about my tattoos. I went like this because we're doing the right arm. Roughly a year ago, I did a video on the, my left arm and I explained what all these tattoos mean to me. It's a common question. If you have a lot of tattoos, you know this. You walk down the street, someone will just grab you and be like, hey, what is that? I mean, first of all, horrible etiquette. Don't do that. Somebody with tattoos does not want to be touched randomly by strangers outside because you want to see one of our tattoos or you like them or whatever, right? And if you have a bunch of tattoos, you've experienced this. So rather than uh, just tell people randomly again and again the same stories, I thought, let's make a video so if people have any questions, I'm telling you here, right? <laughs> Let me tell you a story about something that happened last night. First, just because, what the hell. I went and played ping pong with some buddies, which I do semi-normally. And afterward, around, I don't know, we had some drinks after also, I decided to go home. It's around 2 a.m. and I decided to take the metro, or maybe it was 1.30, 1.45. I don't remember exactly. The thing is, I had a bunch of drinks. I smoked a lot. I was high as a kite. I go to get on the metro and I have to take two metros home from where we were to get to my place, right? On the first metro I get on, I have a four or five stops to go, and I'm on my phone texting one of my buddies that I was playing ping pong with, right? I'm so in the phone that I for, I'm not paying attention, and I'm high as hell, right? So I miss my stop. I get off, and that's not, that's not, that's not that weird to miss your stop once, right? I go to the other side to take the metro back the way. <laughs> Again, I'm on the phone. I miss the stop, this time by two stops. The first time by three, this time by two. What? I get around, turn around, get on the metro. This time I'm like, I'm not touching the phone. And I get off on the right stop. But at that point, the other connecting metro is closed because now it's past the time that it was open till. So I have to walk home from that point. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. On my knuckles, I talked about this in the first video. I've got love and hate. And what the, I got them at the same time. And the purpose for that is back in 2014, I had a miserable year. Huh? Is one of the worst of my life. I broke my ankle. Uh, I lost a business investment. I broke up with a girlfriend. All kinds of things. It was horrible. So I got love and hate to remind me that I have a choice, right? The choice for me is like, do I want to be happy? Do I want to be sad? Do I want to make the best of a situation? And that's what it means to me. Uh, it's just to remind myself that I have a choice. Choose to be happy. Choose to love, etc. And also, I have love on the right hand because the reality is when you shake someone's hand, you shake it with your right hand, right? So consequently, that's why I have a rose here because when I shake your hand, I'm offering you the gift of friendship. I mean, it's a rose, so maybe it's extra friendship. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, anyways, that's the purpose of the rose is because I, immediately when I meet someone, I'm a nice person. I, I, I could be friends with a lot, all different kinds of people. And, the real, and when we first meet, I'm offering friendship. It's up to the person whether that goes that route or goes a different route or whatever. Same thing about the heart on the thumb. But the reason that I got the thumb tattoos, which is a heart and a spade, number one, I like to play poker, but uh, which I haven't played in a very long time. But uh, I got the heart because also with love, right? And the real reason that I got the heart and the spade is because when I got my fingers done, I was like, wait, I feel in, uh, like not balanced, right? Unbalanced, imbalanced. Anyways, not balanced. And so I got the, the heart and the spade because I, it gave me symmetry. And my, I have OCD, yeah? My OCD is usually about symmetry and balance and things like that. <laughs> Believe me, if you don't have OCD, you don't want it. Moving up, right? The bottom part of my forearm is a wrap. And we've got Johnny Depp right here from Alice in Wonderland. Um, we've got the Cheshire Cat. And we've got, I think his name is Absalom, right? The Caterpillar, Smoke of the Hookah, right? This is from the Johnny Depp version of his of the Alice in Wonderland movie, but it's not about the movie. It's about Alice in Wonderland, period. And I feel like Alice in Wonderland is the epitome of creativity. This is to remind myself to be creative all the time, which is interesting because I'm left-handed, but when I chose that my right side was about love and creativity, my left side was about power and strength, uh, because it was left-handed, that's why I decided to put it here. But again, it's just a reminder about being creative because I feel like they were ahead of their time. Clearly, they were doing psychedelics, right, when they made the original Alice in Wonderland. But uh, I feel like uh, it's, anyways, so that's what it is. Next, right here on the inside of my, what is this called? Anyway, th this tattoo right here, the Eye of Providence, right? The Illuminati Eye. I'm not part of the Illuminati or anything like that, clearly. But uh, to me, this is, it's a reminder to aspire to be something bigger. Right? I mean, and that's what the stars are as well. But this is a reminder that there is a group that you want to 
to join, and I don't know, it's not that I want to join Illuminati or anything like that, is that I just want to be moved up into another echelon. That's all. And that's what it signifies for me. And maybe it also means that someone's always watching, right? I mean, with technology today, the internet, cell phones, always listening. You know, I talk to my friend, I'm like, hey, you know, how's your foot? Is it hurting or whatever? And then he, we have 30 ads on our phones because of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, all this stuff who are listening all the time. This is a reminder of that. So, you know, pay attention. Next, we have the three uh, stars right here, but these are strictly because of my OCD. Because originally I got the stars on my left arm and I felt unbalanced, unbalanced, not, not balanced. And so I got these stars because it made me feel better because I felt more balanced and yeah, strictly for OCD. If we turn my arm over, we've got Pac-Man right here. And by the way, the Alice in Wonderland is actually, there's a little that needs to be done. The scroll should say we are all mad, but that never got finished. I've got Pac-Man right here with some dots. I've got a cherry here. I've got a strawberry here. And then I've got some uh, ghosts on the back. I've tried to rip my arm and just to put it in front of the camera. So I've got Pac-Man, right? What does that signify? When I was growing up, I loved the video games. Huh? I remember my first uh, video game system. I think it was Atari 2600. Oof, dating me, right? I had the original Nintendo, you know, I played Super Mario Brothers, I played Pac-Man, Galaga, you name it. Ugh, I love emulators, stuff like that. It reminds me of the good old days, and that's what that tattoo is for, right? On the inside right here, this is my English Bulldog. This is the last dog that I ever had. And I, I don't know, it makes me sad. I mean, I, this is the first dog I had, this is the second dog I had, and I don't have space to get another dog tattoo. <laughs> Otherwise, I get a dog. I mean, I would love to have a dog, it's just my house has painting supplies everywhere. I mean, it's really an art studio. It's at my house, but I have art stuff, I have camera stuff everywhere, and if I had a dog, you have one year with them before they start doing everything they need to do, tearing your place up, this and that, and my house is just not set up for it. When I move, I probably get a dog. Uh, after the dog, we move over here and we have Buddha, right? Now you'll notice Buddha's eyes are red. There's fire here. There's pray, uh, prayer beads that exploded right here. And what this represents is the battle between good and evil within yourself, right? So uh, <laughs> I think we all struggle with it. I don't care how good of a person you are. You have days where you walk in that line, right? And so this is my battle with uh, good and evil, always trying to be good, and then sometimes the prayer beads explode. I mean, I'm not uh, religious or anything like that, but it, it's, it's about the battle between good and evil, basically, right? Lastly, I don't remember if I showed you, I have, uh, it was, I probably should shave my underarms so you can see the tattoos better, but under both of my underarms, I have demons, right? And these are my inner demons. <laughs> uh, a lot of people ask, by the way, uh, what hurts the most? Let's just talk about the, ar the armpit and the arm, uh, because that's what this video is about, and we're nearing completion. And on my arms, right? First of all, everyone's pain centers are different. What hurts me maybe doesn't hurt you, but I could tell you there are really three spots, and that's it, on my arms and armpit that hurt. And the first one would be where the dogs are, right? The inside of your bicep, it feels like acid is being poured on your skin. And both of these tattoos took about three hours. It feels like someone is pouring acid there for three hours. It's horrible. I mean, to the point where you want to kill the guy, tattoo you, whatever. So for sure, here sucks. Next, uh, this little sliver right here. I don't know how to do this so you can see the best. This little sliver on the bottom uh, of your forearm or your wrist, basically, on the inside, right? Just a small sliver of like an inch or two somewhere here, that hurts a lot. Um, and then tied for a third would be in the top of these knuckles around here, on the top, not here on the fingers. The fingers weren't that bad, but on the top of the knuckles, that wasn't nice. And when it touches the funny bone, the, those two, while well, say, are tied for a third. But besides that, the arm and the armpit was a walk in the park. Right? Anyways, guys, gals, if you have any questions about my tattoos, leave them in the comments. I will do another follow-up video. Maybe I won't wait another year to do the next part where we'll do my, my chest and my back and my... Maybe we'll do one last video, which will be my legs, chest, and back, right? And feet. <laughs> guys, gals, everybody, woo! I want to say one more thing, if you made it to this point of this video. Guys, uh, my channel is not monetized, right? Because the majority of my videos are 18 plus. And the reason they're 18 plus is because YouTube is a bit strange when it comes to cannabis videos. So if I make them 18 plus, any videos that have cannabis, then they don't get deleted, taken down, strikes on the channel, this and that, right? 
But the reality is any videos that are 18 plus, which is the majority of my videos, by the way, it means they don't hit the YouTube algorithm in a favorable way and they only show up in search. So I need your help. I need you to share my videos because the reality is, look, the amount of videos I have, the amount of uh, people who get to see them is small because most of the videos are 18 plus, you know what I mean? And so if you enjoy the channel, that's what I'm asking you to do is support the channel by sharing the videos with your friends. I really appreciate it. Guys, gals, Everybody, happy new year. Boom! I, I, I even missed, right? Everything reminds me of her, right? <laughs> guys, gals, everyone, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. I'm going crazy. I need to smoke. I'm out.